Each year, the City of Tallahassee water system produces approximately 9 billion gallons of high-quality drinking water for our residents and visitors. The cross-connection control program is integral in protecting our drinking water from potential contamination. Hi, I'm Jen Porter. I'm the manager of water operations for the City of Tallahassee. I'd like to tell you a little bit about our cross-connection control program and what you can do to help the City of Tallahassee ensure that our drinking water remains clean. The city's water system is a network of pipes that convey water from wells to residences and businesses throughout the city. A cross connection is a connection between the public water system and any environment that might introduce waste, chemicals, or non-potable water into the public water system. Examples of cross connections include connections to irrigation systems, reclaimed water systems, industrial processes, commercial swimming pools, and restaurants. In order to ensure that water from those sources do not enter the public water system, a backflow prevention assembly is required when a potential hazard is identified. Now let's take a look at some of the assemblies you might see throughout the city. Hello, I'm Charlie with the City of Tallahassee. Have you ever wondered what these fake rocks are in front of people's homes? Well today we're gonna to show you. Up under these fake rocks, backflow prevention assemblies. Once we give water to the customer, commercial or residential, it passes through the assembly, we don't want that water back. This is how it works. After the water passes through the customer's meter, it comes up through this pipe right here, and it goes to this diaphragm which charges. It opens up this valve and opens up this valve, goes down through that pipe and goes to the customer's house. Anytime that water tries to reverse itself, whether it be a loss of pressure or something like that, then the water stays on the customer's side. It does not go back into the public drinking water. This is how we test the backflow prevention assembly. Our machine hooks up to these test valves and we flush them beforehand. Keeps any debris from getting in our machine. Now we're going to install these fitting adapters. And then we're going to hook our test machine hoses to it. The hoses are color coordinated depending on the pressures you're trying to test. The backflow prevention assembly has internal components, springs, valves that work independently. Uh, when we hook a machine up to it, we make sure that all of those components are working with it within their design parameters. So we start off checking the number one check, and then you watch the needle fall, and it's supposed to stop at a certain point. And that was checking out great. Now we're gonna check the relief port to make sure it opens up like it should. and it does perfectly. So this unit is passed. At this point, we take the hoses off. We return water back to the customer, take our fittings out, and we're done. In accordance with Florida Department of Environmental Protection rules, commercial backflow prevention assemblies must be tested every year, and residential backflow assemblies must be tested every other year. Customers must make arrangements with certified testers to perform those tests or opt in to the city coordinated testing program to ensure testing is completed in a timely manner. On backflow prevention assemblies, there are components on it after the unit itself. There are thermal expansions and freeze protection devices. The purpose of the thermal expansion, if pressure gets too high on the customer side, this will relieve water a little bit at the time. It will drip on purpose and that keeps from swelling or busting any pipes. On the freeze protector, in extreme temperatures, water tries to freeze up, it swells. Well, this will drip periodically and it keeps the main unit from swelling and busting its, itself. One thing that the customer can do, they can purchase one of these thermal protection bags right here. It just goes over the backflow like so. Put the cover back on it. And that concludes our test of a residential assembly. Now let's see what a commercial application looks like. Hello, I'm Daniel McKenzie with the City of Tallahassee. We've already taken a look at what residential backflow preventers look like. Now I want to show you a commercial application. 
Commercial applications come in different shapes and sizes. This is one of the larger versions. This is a six inch assembly. Works the same as the residential assembly. The water still comes up, comes through the valves, opens the check valves, and goes to the customer. These assemblies come in different shapes and sizes. You will see different models. This is just one of many in the city of Tallahassee. Just a few things to remember. Maintenance and testing are a responsibility of the customer. Please remember to have your assembly tested every year for commercial applications and every two years for residential applications according to the Department of Environmental Protection state law. Cross Connection Control Program team members are available to help you with any questions you might have about your water service, your backflow prevention assembly, or testing requirements. Please call us at 850-891-1248 or learn more at talgov.com.